that big news guys uh, I have a website for you guys for my short stories as well we will go to uh, Pimmar short stories <laughs> webinar dot com and that's where you find all my short stories like the ones that I've read in the past it but like over twenty minutes length but it is what it is you know that's a little surprise for you guys so that's where I'll be leaving all the short stories that we What up, YouTube? Quinn Mark here, back with another Quinn Mark Explains video. This is episode 2.4. Happy to see the mighty every one of you guys. And uh, today's video, we got Apolita's traditional recipe. This video is on our website down in the description, which is Quinn Mark uh, Short Stories that webinar dot com. Mm -hmm. Without further ado, let's get make sure to subscribe, like hit the like button, and um, hit that notification bell to be updated with all the videos. With that being said, let's go. So this is uh, Abuelita's traditional recipe. Hello there, my name is Vanessa Rojas. Today I'll be telling you guys a short, short story that has been running in my family for generations. This story is about my abuela Abuelita and how she came out with her delicious recipe as well as where it originated from. This all started in the 1930s back in the city of Guadalajara, Mexico. My Abuelita Virginia Santiago which is 10 years old and had already shown some special talents in the kitchen. Her mother, Victoria, had taught my grandmother the this, this delicious recipe that we all know and love within our family and had been passed on to me. Th this recipe contains the most delicious ingredients that were just outstanding and would have your mouth wondering just from the aroma that had hit the kitchen once she entered. My abuelita had created a delicious burrito casserole, something that has never seen before. The ingredients contained a couple of tortilla shells that were fried to make it have that crunchy texture once he had the first bite. The next ingredient she had added was three different types of meats, which were carne asada, pollo, and beef. That would give it a good flavor and the way she had seasoned it made it out of this world. The next layer of ingredients contained plated some salsa, shredded cheese, onions, beans, cilantro, rice, and much more. Every single mile, my abuelita will make this recipe from my mother to me. This had been a family tradition of ours for generations. Before my abuelita passed away, however, she passed the recipe on to me so I could learn it myself. Her legacy lives within us, and every single mile, I will make it for my family. And that's the short story there for you guys. Um, make sure you check out the last video as well, because I have my website surprises there as well. and. Yeah, it's the next next episode of Quinn Mark Explains. Is this video to 40 likes? And yeah, with that being said, thank y'all for watching. Peace. Ooh,